Hey guys, so welcome back. So you know there's a saying, be at the right place at the right time, and this is kind of one of those situations. Um, <clears throat> new sled in the garage. Uh, this sled is not mine. It's actually my buddy's sled, who is actually a mechanic, and um, his wife actually used to ride with us, and then she kind of <clears throat> got out of it you know, when she started dating Matt. And um, about a week and a half ago, uh, a guy he knows um, was in some financial despair. I'll just, I'll just call it like that. He had to pay a bill, and he brought this sled over to, to Matt's house. He says, hey, uh, if you'll give me 500 bucks for this thing, you can have it. I need to pay a bill, and so on and so forth. So Matt looked at Cindy and said, hey, looks like we're buying a sled. So... <clears throat> 500 bucks for this 2001 Polaris Edge XC800. So um, they brought it over to me. Said, "Hey, can you get, can you guys go through it?" And essentially, that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I'm on vacation this week, and we're going through it. So again, 500 bucks, uh, 2001 XC800. It's not an SP. Um, no electric start. Um, no reverse. Got about 3,500 miles on it. Uh, <clears throat> I've been looking at it for the last 10 or 20, 20 minutes, and there are a couple things that are odd with it. First and foremost, you're gonna probably notice it. The trailing arms that are on there are not the right ones for the sled. They should be blue. They're red. Um, a couple other things. <clears throat> Snow flap is all busted up. We're gonna throw a new one on that one. The uh, the rear bumper is only held on by one or two bolts on either side. Um, same thing on this side. Again, the uh, the trailing arm doesn't match. It sh again, it should be blue. I'm not sure what happened. I looked at the bulkhead. I don't see any signs of impacts or anything like that, so I'm kind of unclear what's, what happened with it. Um, <clears throat> open up the hood real quick. So... So I was going through it, I noticed a couple things. Um, uh, the, uh, the vents for the carb are not on the, uh, on the, uh, the ports for the air box. Not sure what's going on with that. Take walk over to the other side, show you a couple other things. Somebody's definitely been in here. Um, first and foremost, you'll see that the coolant reservoir bottle is at a 35 degree. This, should, this thing should actually be pulling straight up and down and on the other side of this hose. I have a feeling what happened is this hose may have busted and they just re replaced it with just something and it's not the correct hose from it and that's why they routed this reservoir bottle on the other side. But uh, regardless, that shouldn't be like that. This should be straight up and down. Um, <clears throat> it has a pretty good fuel leak as you can see. The, uh, the main line coming out of the tank is ruptured. Actually, where it comes out of the, uh, the air box. So that needs to be replaced. Um, <clears throat> at some point, they uh, pulled the Y-pipe off. You can see all the RTV that's on the Y-pipe, so that needs to be addressed. Um, <clears throat> but it does run. It seems to run well. Uh, it starts up in a couple pulls. Um, so essentially, we're gonna go through this whole thing, soup to nuts. Um, it's a one in, as far as a track, it's a one inch shockway from Polaris, and uh, I think that's a very small track for this 800. Um, so we're probably gonna replace the track on it. Um, go through all the, we're gonna pull the skid out. You know, check out all the bearings and the uh, the sliders and all the bogies. Uh, we'll check the uh, the. Um, <clears throat> the chain case, the chain case is actually full of water. I already took it. I already looked at that. Um, look at the oil injection. Make sure that's working, because uh, it looks like there is premix in the tank. I'm not sure what's up with that, so I'm not sure why they're running premix. So we gotta look at the oil injection. Make sure that's working. And you know, check all the uh, the grease points and everything else, and take a look at it. Um, all the electrics work on it. The hand warmers work. All the lights work. Brakes work. Uh, high and low work. So uh, everything's functional. Um, but we're gonna go this through this thing, soup to nuts, and go from there. We're gonna pretty much 
We're gonna take the pipe out, take the take the can out. We're gonna paint that. We're gonna power wash it, clean it up. We're gonna pull the carbs out. We're gonna clean the carbs, make sure everything is what it's supposed to be doing, and go from there. Cause uh, ultimately, this sled will be out on the trails this winter with us. And like we've all talked before, you don't want to be that guy and basically be broken down. So now it's you know it's late summer. Now is a perfect time to go through this when you know we have time. So there will be more updates on this sled throughout the week as we're working through it. But essentially this is just an introduction to it. So stay tuned for updates and we'll go from there. Um, as always, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you part of my community. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.